hello beautiful people welcome back to the channel igbe here i hope everyone is doing well i hope you're having a fantastic day so far thank you so much for tuning in i hope everyone had a nice fourth of july it was definitely an exciting one for me we are back with new remote job opportunities and we are going to dive right in before i do though i do want to just thank each and every one of you for being here thank you to all my subscribers i appreciate the love and for those of you that are encountering my video for the first time do not be a stranger hit the subscribe button and join the family so let's dive right in the first opportunity we are going to be exploring is with Cornell University Cornell University is looking for an executive education data entry analyst this is a data entry role and with this position just like every other data entry role you are going to be focusing on databases you're going to be verifying information you're going to be sourcing information to ensure the accuracy of them you are also going to be following specific set guidelines as well as timeline taking those data sets and turning them into charts reports pie charts flow charts and so forth so really summarizing data they're asking for high school diploma or equivalent experience in data entry or related field this is a preference you do not need to have experience in data entry to qualify for this role so to me this is more of an entry level type of role i know sometimes with no experience it can be a challenge but this is an opportunity for those people looking for data entry positions that don't necessarily have the experience definitely go ahead and submit your application for this one they're talking about proficiency in computer software data entry tools some of those things are access is a database for Microsoft and then you have Excel which is also like spreadsheets and so forth so these are important especially when you're putting your resume together you want to make sure that those things that they've called out as being pertinent to the role are on your resume. The position is flexible between the hours of 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. So you can decide to start by 9. You can decide to start a little later. So all of that is important. Then knowledge of Salesforce is a plus. It's not required, but it is a plus. So if you have it, call it out on your resume. And with this opportunity, according to my research, the salary is between 19 to $21 per hour. The next opportunity we're going to be exploring is with Premier. Premier is a healthcare improvement organization, as you can see here, and they are looking for an intake specialist. So an intake specialist is more of a frontline staff. You are going to be responsible for retrieving information from different clients, taking that information and documenting inappropriate systems and tracking those systems to ensure continuous accuracy. So that is really what the intake specialist would do. They're asking for years of applicable experience. Experience. So one or more years of work experience, and they are asking for you to have claims analysis, customer service, just healthcare in general, high school diploma or GED. So all of that is important. Data entry experience is important as well. So keep all of that in mind as you submit your application. So let's talk about compensation. So the salary range for this position is between 34 and 64,000. So the entry level likely will fall on the lower end, which is the 34,000 range. And whereas the more seasoned individuals that have some experience under their belts will likely fall closer to the $64,000 per year. So that is it for this role. We're going to move on to the next two roles, which are with CVS. So CVS is looking for an analyst resource planning position. You need to be familiar with Avire. So Avire is kind of a system that allows you to track how much time you spend on different things, especially when it has to do with calls. I know from experience leading different customer service teams in the past, Avaya was very familiar to me because it was a system or software I used a lot in tracking how much time my staff were basically spending talking to customers at a time. And depending on different topics that the customers will raise, that sort of allowed me to break things into categories of particular issues that customers ask about. How do I take all that information and turn it into a, a productive driven type of initiative that can create improvement overall? So 
primarily this role is going to be using Avire, it's going to be using SCAS offline queues and so forth. And with this position, they do have different shifts, as you can see, 11.30 a.m. to 8 p.m. Central Time, year-round with occasional Saturday. So I think depending on where you prefer to be, that becomes relevant here. So 11.30 a.m. start time is actually very good, at least for somebody that is not a morning person. But I also know that there are a lot of people that are all by 6 a.m. and that may not necessarily work. But definitely keep all of that in mind. The salary range is minimum $40,000 and maximum $83,000. Keep in mind that these positions are based on experience and the salary they're going to offer has to reflect search. So if there is not much experience, likely that puts the individual towards the, the lower end of the spectrum versus more seasoned staff going towards the higher end of the spectrum. So the next opportunity that I want to talk about is Tech One Front End Specialty Mail. This is a fully remote position as well. Pharmacy technician is one that can be a very lucrative career path to take. So I wanted to quickly take some time to just talk about it. It is a data entry role, but then there's also a customer service component to it. They are asking for you to be certified pharmacy technician. However, though, you are primarily going to be focusing on working with members or working with patients to ensure that all your medication and all information that pertains to their medication are verified. In terms of their benefits, making sure that medications are actually dispensed accurately. You're taking information, documenting in different systems. You're talking with people on the phone, not patients directly, but different provider offices to get all the necessary information to provide care to different patients. They're asking for you to have the pharmacy technician certification. They're asking for six months experience working in a pharmacy setting. They're talking about familiarity with different window-based type of softwares. You were talking about Microsoft Office. We're talking about email applications such as Outlook. Being familiar with computer keyboarding, you're going to be sitting eight to 10 hours per day. They do have some preference qualifications highlighted here. So definitely take some time to review these. The salary for this position is between $17 and $27.90 per hour. That is the salary. So we're going to move on to the next row. The next row is a part-time position, fully remote, and it is with Cumulus Media, and they are looking for someone to come in and be a promotion assistant with this role. You are going to be focusing on different stations. You're going to be acting as brand ambassadors, just making sure that all things are working together as they should, helping out as needed, promoting the organization. That's really where you come in. Different initiatives that have been put in place to allow that to happen, you really mastering those, enforcing and carrying those opportunities out. So that is really what this position is. I do want to call out that with this role, they are asking for potential pop-in of different offices. So it's not 100% remote in that sense from my perspective because you occasionally have to meet people so that is part of that the next opportunity that i want to talk about is with transamerica premium specialist employee benefit so again transamerica is looking for premium specialist and with this position you are going to be focusing primarily on accounting in general you're going to be ensuring that different loan payments, withdrawals, policies, and so forth, all of that are reflected accurately and being followed through. So you are going to be really focusing on employees of Transamerica. And with every organization, there's always an employee program that provides similar services to employees, but at a discounted rate. So I think that's exactly what is happening here. So they're looking for individuals to come in and ask assist that particular department. The qualifications for this role, they're asking for associate's degree or equivalent work experience. So I always like this because they are saying associate's degree, but then they are saying, even if you don't have associate's degree, two plus years experience will suffice. And with this position, the salary is between $30,000 to $40,000 per year. 
So that is the last opportunity we have for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you find these leads helpful. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel again if you've not subscribed already. And turn your notification bell on so you get notified when I do post new videos. I want to thank you guys so much again for watching. Till next time, best of luck to you as you apply. Take care guys. Bye-bye.